if an initial investment P bears, an in, bears interest at a rate R, so this is the initial investment P bears interest at a rate R, and is compounded annually, its future value A after T years can be determined with the equation above. Which of the following equations shows the interest rate in terms of the future value, initial investment, and number of years invested? So they really just want us to solve for R. So let's see if we can do that. So we have the future value. Let me give myself some space. Future value is equal, I'm just rewriting it, is equal to the initial investment times one plus our interest rate, and then that quantity to the T power. So let's see what we can do. So the first thing I could do is I can get the P onto the left-hand side by dividing both sides of this equation by our initial investment. So if I do that, I get, and actually let me, let me swap the sides too. Then I get one plus R to the T power is equal to our future value divided by our initial investment. Now how do I get rid of this to the T power here? Well, I could raise both sides to the one over t power. So I could raise that to the one over t power. One over t. If I do it on the left side, I have to do it to the right side as well. So on the left hand side, if I raise something to the t and then I raise it to the one over t, remember if you raise something to an exponent and then raise it to another exponent, you're raising it to the product of these two exponents. So this is equivalent to raising one, this is equivalent to just raising one plus r to the first power. Or this is just going to simplify to one plus r on the left hand side. And on the right hand side, we're going to have our future value divided by our initial investment to the one over t power. And now pretty straightforward. You want to solve for r, subtract one from both sides. We get r is equal to our future value divided by our initial investment to the one over t power minus one. And that is this choice right over there.